Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's Norris Express Bulletin. In a tragic incident, the wife of ex-MLA of Cycle Assembly constituency died in a bomb blast. The officer in charge of Cycle Police Station informed Hornbill TV that the incident happened around 3 p.m. on Saturday when the family was engaged in some cleaning work at Eko Mulam village, which is some six kilometers away in southwest direction from Cycle Police Station in Gangbok Bay district. The officer in charge informed that the incident wife of Yam Tong Haukip Chura Chaurupala, who is around 59 years, succumbed to her injuries. Investigation is going on. However, the accused who planted the bomb could not be ascertained at the moment. The officer in charge further said there was no recorded attack on Yam Tong Haukip and his family. The incident has sparked grief and panic in the area. A joint team of Manipur State and Central Forces recovered huge cache of arms, ammunition, explosives and warlike stores during a search operation in vulnerable areas of Imphal East, Bishnupur, Taubal and Tengnabal districts during the past 48 hours. Acting on intelligence report, the joint team conducted a search operation in Monglam and Kamu in Imphal East district on Friday, welting to the recovery of one Bumbi three mortar bombs, one Bombay wooden base and 13 fired cases. Another search operation was also conducted at Mongjam and Taurim villages in Fal East district, resulting in the recovery of one single barrel gun, country made, two suspected IEDs, one 9mm pistol, country made with magazine, five live ammunition rounds, eight HE-36 hand grenades, two deep launchers, one insert rifle magazine, four point 303 LMG magazine, two radio wireless set marked as Bao Feng, three small grenades and one stun grenade. In another search operation, security forces recovered two double barrel gun, one binocular, one handheld Motorola small set and three Atar card from Molnam village of Tengnabal district on Friday. However, no arrests were made in the joint search operations. The seized weapons and warlike stores were handed over to the concerned police stations for further legal actions, police reports said. The Shillong Ali Faiths Forum on Saturday celebrated its fourth Foundation Day under the team Respectfully Coexist. The program was hosted by the Central Puja Committee at the premises of Ramakrishna Mission, Lum Sora, Lightum Class. The event highlighted the importance of citizens striving for respectful coexistence and maintaining peace to promote societal harmony, which was emphasized by speakers. Director General of Police Itashi Shah Nongrang was the chief guest at the event. Man, how truly, as your name suggests, Ida Shisha, and that is how, how truly you have been working hard for this state. And then uh, you will be hearing a brief report of some from Mr. Arun Gorma, who is the Assistant Secretary and also the Secretary of the Shalom Buddhist Association. Very often it sounds very cliché to say that this is what it all is all about. But without that unity and diversity, this great country of ours will not be where it is today. We stand here as members of the Shalom Power Page Forum to witness the fact that without a peaceful coexistence, we will not be able to do any of the things that we strive to do. We are hoping and striving to do. Also, I would urge the Shalom Power Page Forum to use the Foundation Day as a day of reflection. Reflection on all that you have done and what you hope to do in the future. As you reach out to all the various communities, and I see a very good representation here before us this afternoon, we should also remember that to take a look and to be able to work through all the differences that we have takes a lot of faith. With Shimon, as with, the, with this reputation comes a lot of responsibilities. I am so happy that the Shimon All Faiths Forum is celebrating the Fourth Foundation Day, as has been already told to us by various speakers. The, the forum came into being of the COVID pandemic. 
There is a saying that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And this thing is really disturbing. The voice is loud enough. And as a police officer who's taken a vow to uphold the Constitution, what it is about, what is it about the Shalom Orgates Forum that resonates so much with me? It is the fact that the Shalom Orgates Forum is looking for both peaceful coexistence. And as a police officer, that is what we strive for. Because peaceful coexistence can only come about if we realize that all of us are different. We are born into various segments of society. We are born into various sectors of society. We come from different faiths. We come from different religions. Keeping pace with Chief Minister of Assam's initiative of planting tree grower trees by 15th August, MLA of Silchar, Dibayan Chakraborty led the drive of planting 575 tree saplings on Silchar bypass on Sunday. A year earlier, 1,000 trees were planted for a green drive in Assam in the same area by the Silchar MLA. Though only 250 of them could survive, this year MLA Silchar has appealed to all to take care of the growth of tea plants. Residents of Silchar's various wards and GOs, members of the sporting fraternity, took active in the plantation drive today. Doctor Himanto Bisosoma Mohodoi, Omrit Bixo Andolone to Duhajar, Te Singrejit Arambo Kodisile, Aru Arambunir Pora, Ami Daha Paisuje, Guta Rajor, Both Manu, E to Andolon Jorito is Aji Jua Duhajar Teso, Tamio, Bartijanta Partir, Amar Jilahova Boti, Aru Amar MP Mohodoi, Tavar Netito Tami, Ekaja Briko Rupon Kurisilu, Silchor Bypass Jetu Yase, Bypass Jetu Asa, Amnogor Bypass. এইবারো আমার মাননীয় মুখ্যমন্ত্রী ডক্টর হিমন্ত বিশ্ব শর্মা তাকে এটা প্রচেষ্টা কৰিছে যে 3 কোটি বৃক্ষ ৰোপণ হ'ব অসম ৰাজ্যত এটো কাৰণে শিলচৰ বিধানসভা সমষ্টিত আমাৰ মাননীয় জিলা সভাপতি মই আৰু আমাৰ ভাৰতীয় জনতা পাৰ্টিৰ মণ্ডল সভাপতি সকলে গুড খাই আমি আজি 575 বৃক্ষ ৰোপণ কৰিলো আমি আমার এটা প্রসেস চলি আছে আপনালোকে জানে যে প্রধানমন্ত্রী নরেন্দ্র মোদি জি এক বৃক্ষ মা কি নাম তো এই তো আন্দোলনত আমার গুটি ভারতীয় জনতা পার্টি অকল নহয় গুটি ভারতবর্ষ মানুষে বৃক্ষ রোপণ করে আছে মার নামত আর এই প্রক্রিয়াটো চলি আছে তার উপর তো আজি এই 575 বৃক্ষ আমি রোপণ কৰিছো ডক্টর হিমন্ত বিশ্ব শর্মা উদ্যোগত আমি সম্মান জ্ঞাপন কৰিছো আর এইটো তো আমার শিলচরৰ বিভিন্ন এনজিও আমার শিলচরৰ সাংস্কৃতিক ক্লাব আমার শিলচরৰ স্পোর্টস ক্লাব বিভিন্ন ৰাজনৈতিক সংগঠন আই গুড খাই আমি এই বৃক্ষ রোপণ কৰিলো The biennial election of the Dribura High Court Bar Association concluded on Saturday evening with candidates from both the contesting panels winning key posts in the closely contested electoral battle. A total of 217 voters participated in the election with voting conducted across four booths. The election saw a total of 27 candidates contesting for various positions. A total of 55 voters each were assigned to booths 1, 2 and 3 while booth 4 had 52 voters. Among the candidates, 11 each represented the Sang Bitan Bachao Mancha and the INGB Unayan Mancha, with an additional five independent candidates contesting the election. As a result, some positions witnessed four way contests, others three way, and most so head to head competition. After the voting concluded, the vote counting began. As the counting progressed, it became evident that the election was a fierce battle between the, both the panels. When the results were finally announced, it was revealed that INGB Unayan Manchas's candidate, Bival Nanti Majumdar, narrowly defeated Sangbitan Bajau Manchas's candidate, Bijush Kanti Biswas, with a slender margin of five votes for the position of president. In addition to the president's position, other successful candidates from the INGB Unayan Mancha included Asmita Bani as Joint Secretary and Angan Dilakpal, Anujit De, Dibyantu Sargar and Simita Chakrabodi as ex executive members. On the other hand, successful candidates from the Sangbitan Pajau Mancha included Prabal Kumar Kosh as Vice President, Subrata Sargar as Secretary, Dogada Dutta as Treasurer, and Saigat Saha and Sagar Banik as Executive Members. 
Following the vote count, returning officer Nepal Majumdar announced the results, noting that 210 out of 20, 217 voters had cast their votes. After his victory, Bivol Nanti Majumdar addressed the media, stating that a meeting would be held on Monday or Tuesday with all newly elected members of the Tribura High Court Bar Association. Subrata Sargar, who won the position of secretary, said they, that they have some fundamental demands, including a welfare fund for junior lawyers and health insurance for all practicing lawyers. He stressed that only by working together can the Tribura High Court Bar Association move forward. এখন প্রথমত আজকে মাত্র আমাদের আপনারা দেখলেন যে মাত্র নির্বাচনের ফলাফল ঘোষণা করা হয়েছে আমরা প্রথমে বসবো আপনার আগামী সোমবার সামগ্রিকভাবে একটা বিবেচনা করা হবে কোনটা প্রায়োরিটি আমরা আগেই বলেছি যে আমাদের প্রতিগুলো নির্দিষ্ট এজেন্ডা আছে যেটা নিয়ে আমরা কাজ করতে চাই যেমন অ্যাপ্রেন্টিসদের স্টাইপেন্ডা তারপরে ওয়াইফাই তারপরে আপনার লাইব্রেরিতে বইপত্র ইত্যাদি অনেক কিছু আমাদের প্রজেক্ট আছে তো আমরা সামগ্রিকভাবে ওটা বিবেচনা করব আমাদের ফান্ডের অবস্থা দেখব দেখে আমরা আপনাদের আগামী সপ্তাহের মধ্যে জানাতে পারবো যে আমরা প্রায়োরিটি কী থাকবে তবে দিন সেট তো আমরা বলতে পারি যে আইনজীবীদের হাইকোর্ট বারে যারা সদস্য তাদের ওয়েলফেয়ারটা টপ প্রায়োরিটি থাকবে অন্য কিছু টপ প্রায়োরিটি থাকবে ওদের প্রতি কোনো রকম নতুন আইনজীবীদের ক্ষেত্রে নতুন করে ঢুকছে করতে ওদের জন্য একটা ওয়েলফেয়ার স্কিম আমরা প্রত্যেক জমা দিয়ে রাজ্য সরকার এটার উপর চিন্তা ভাবনা করছে আমরা এবার রাজ্য সরকারকে অনুরোধ করবো যত তাড়াতাড়ি সম্ভব এই জুনিয়র লয়ারদের জন্য ওই স্কিমটা দিলে তাহলে কোনো কলেজ যদি প্রথমে এলে পারে কোনো মুশকিল আছে আপনাদের উন্নয়ন মঞ্চ কতজন জিতে উন্নয়ন মঞ্চ জিতেছে ত্রিপুরা হাইকোর্ট বার অ্যাসোসিয়েশনের আইনবাজী নির্বাচন দু হাজার চব্বিশ আজকে আমরা ভোট গ্রহণ এবং ভোটের ফলাফল আমরা এইমাত্র জানিয়ে দিলাম ভোটের ফলাফল যা দাঁড়িয়েছে প্রেসিডেন্ট পদে নির্বাচিত হয়েছেন দিব্যনন্দী প্রতিযোগিতা আমার প্রাপ্ত ভোট ওয়ান জিরো সিক্স এবং ভাইস প্রেসিডেন্ট পদে নির্বাচিত হয়েছেন প্রবল কুমার ঘোষ ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট একশো সাতাশ এবং সেক্রেটারি পদে নির্বাচিত হয়েছেন সুব্রত সরকার নির্বাচিত ঘোষণা করা হয়েছে সুব্রত সরকার ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট নাইনটি টু অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট সেক্রেটারি পদে নির্বাচিত ঘোষণা করা হয়েছে অস্মিতা বণি ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট হান্ড্রেড অ্যান্ড ইলেভেন রেজারার পদে নির্বাচিত ঘোষণা করা হয়েছে মিস্টার সৌগত দত্ত ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট নাইনটি ফোর মেম্বার আমরা ছজনকে এক দুটি কমিটির মেম্বার হিসেবে আমরা নির্বাচিত ঘোষণা করেছি প্রথম দিনই মেম্বার পদে নির্বাচিত হয়েছেন ওনার নাম সৈকত সাহা ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট একশো সাতাশ দ্বিতীয় যাকে নির্বাচিত করেছি উনি হচ্ছেন মিস্টার অঙ্কন তিলপ্পা ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট একশো পঁচিশ হান্ড্রেড টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ তৃতীয় যাকে আমরা মেম্বার হিসেবে নির্বাচিত করেছি সাগর বণিক ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট একশো বাইশ হান্ড্রেড টোয়েন্টি টু যাকে আমরা মেম্বার হিসেবে নিযুক্ত করেছি উনি হচ্ছেন সীমিতা চক্রবর্তী ফোর এবং ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট হচ্ছে একশো চার অরিজিৎ দে মেম্বার ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট নিরানব্বই ওনাকে আমরা নির্বাচিত ঘোষণা করেছি দিব্যেন্দু সরকার মেম্বার ওনার প্রাপ্ত ভোট নিরানব্বই আমরা এই ছজন Malaysian scientist Dr. Hari Krishna Kulavira Singh during his first visit to Tripura expressed optimism about the state's potential to replicate Malaysia's success in oil palm cultivation. 
Speaking exclusively to Hornbill TV, Dr. Hari Krishna highlighted that Tripura, with its rich water resources, fertile soil and ample labor force, is well positioned to achieve significant success in this sector if approached with careful planning and scientific methods. Dr. Hari Krishna was in Tripura to attend the foundation's stone laying ceremony of Northeast India's first oil palm research center, which will be established in Nalgata, Dhalai district. He emphasized the importance of adopting best practices in oil palm cultivation, which will be explored at the new research center. I think uh, in India, the main, main issue is uh, availability of water. By your state, there's got a lot of water from what I can see. Just now it rained as well, right? So this is perfect for, for oil palm. Right? Uh, good soil, water, labor availability, Right, um, good materials that you're getting from Godrej uh, to plant, and most importantly, doing research to figure out what is uh, the best material for this region. Right, so this is what is going to happen at this site. If you look at Malaysia as an example, um, we also were poor country, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. Then they set up. Uh, oil palm for smallholders. So the government gave small plots of land to smallholders planted with oil palm. Today, if you visit Malaysia, as the Honorable Minister did, you see it's totally transformed. Those people are not poor. They don't work their own groves now. They employ people to work those groves, right? Because their, their income is there. So I think uh, Tripura is obviously the key focus state and not least for us. Uh, Support-wise, it is perhaps the best uh, with Honorable Minister Sir, Secretary Sir, and now we have introduced many people. The intention is very clear that uh, already there is a huge rubber plantation happened, which shows the progressiveness of the farmer and acceptance for a plantation crop, which requires long gestation. Of course, rubber is a high uh, gestation, but uh, palm oil is much lower gestation. The technology, the seed we are bringing from Malaysia is one of the best, which will give good income from right from fourth year. And for that, the right uh, support to farmer is very critical because and this is a new crop and farmer has to be educated the right art of doing this. And that is why the research center, that is why there will be a lot of model plantation. We are going to have one stop solution center across country. We are having 50. Right here, we are going to have one. Today, uh, oil palm processing mill and uh, international uh, research and development centers found this stone laying here today. So, in this uh, August uh, occasion, uh, scientist Mr. Uh, Hari Krishna, uh, Dr. Hari Krishna uh, from Malaysia, and uh, uh, local MLA Paldangshu and MDC. Uh, Chakma and my officials, that is the Aburburai uh, and Director of Horticulture, all are present here. Mainly intention is this, uh, we are giving importance on, uh, we went to uh, Malaysia uh, from the Invitation Palm Oil Board and after coming back therein, uh, and we also visited uh, Simi Darby Plantation Research and Development uh, Seed and Breeding Facility Center located in Banting. That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.